hello friends in this video we are going to discuss how we can deploy asp.net web application to microsoft azure so this is a serverless approach serverless approach means uh, the, there is no need of maintaining the servers so we have a service in azure called app services using this app services we can deploy our applications on serverless approach so that uh, no need to maintain the servers or install the required softwares softwares to host the application So let us start our lab. So first we will create a resource group uh, So that uh, all the Components uh, we can create under this resource group and after the completion of that lab we can delete this resource group So let me click on create and Let me give the resource group name Azure App Service delete so as we are going to delete after this lab so I am just giving the name like this click on review and create create after that we will uh, go to the service called app services so go to home app services and here we will create an app service and uh, we will deploy the web application under this app service so let us choose the resource group we have created azure app service delete and we will give the app service name uh, we are, based on this name we will uh, get the url dot azure websites dot net so let us give any name app service test app service test oh this name is not available so is your app service test this is also not available so we will suffix with one two three okay then this is available and uh, here we have three approaches docker container static web app and code I am selecting this code uh, after that uh, we, what we can do is uh, after creating this app service if we select the code uh, we can go to visual studio there we can create a project and that project from there we can host that web application into this app service so this is the approach when we select code this is the docker container uh, and this is a static web app so for this de demo we are selecting this code and runtime stack so we are just selecting this dotnet Core because uh, we will uh, create the application in .NET Core 3.1. LTS LTS means uh, the abbreviation LTS stands for long term long term support. And the operating system we are just using the Windows operating system so that uh, a Windows uh, this our application will be hosted in a Windows server. And the region we will leave it as default and other settings we will leave all other settings as default let us click on review and create now we have created an app service and what we will do is we will go to design studio here it is showing the details for review the memory 1.75 gb memory we are using and our or all other details it is showing let me click on create now let us open visual studio and there we will create a project in dotnet core an mvc application and we will host that mvc application uh, a web application and we will host that web application under this app service so let me open visual studio Let me click on create new project. It's just loading. So we will select this template ASP.NET Core Web App. Click on next. And we'll give the name as Azure App Service. Web App Service. Click on next. 
you remember in the azure we have selected dotnet core 3.1 lts so uh, we will select the same target framework here dotnet core 3.1 lts long term support and we will remaining other, we will keep the other settings as as is click on create now we are we have created an application a dotnet core application web application we will host this web application into the app service in azure now so before that uh, let us test this application by just uh, running this application i am pressing ctrl f5 to run this application so it is building build get started first it will build once the build is successful then it will run the application and we will get the home page we should get the home page it is running under local host under port four double four zero three five so this is the application just now we have developed so now what we will do we will deploy this web application to azure app service so let us go to solution explorer right click and here we have option called publish just click on that in the publish option the target we need to check this azure publish your application to microsoft cloud select this option click on next uh, we are going to deploy uh, in azure app service windows so you remember we have selected that option windows uh, we have also option to select linux as this is a .NET core it is platform independent so we can also host this application in linux as well uh, but for this demo we are just uh, uh, launching this application in windows as we have selected that option while creating the app service in azure so let me select this option azure app service windows click on next here uh, as i have already logged in uh, so with my account if you have not logged in uh, you just need to log in once you log into that account it will uh, show the details like subscription resource group everything so uh, you remember we have created one resource group for this type so let us select the resource group yeah we have created the azure app service test 1 to 3 under this azure app practice app service delete so we have created this resource group under this resource group we have created this app service so let us choose this app service name uh, and click on finish now this uh, .NET Core web app will be deployed to Microsoft Azure and we will get the URL. Uh, we can browse that URL and we can check it. So this is the serverless approach. The advantage of serverless approach is the user can just concentrate on the code on the project which he is working. Uh, there is no need to worry about the infrastructure like maintaining the infrastructure like maintaining the server, maintaining the operating system installing the required softwares and <clears throat> those uh, uh, details uh, we don't need to bother azure will take care of it and also uh, the cost is it is also cost efficient like uh, as we are not uh, installing any application server uh, in, sorry we are not uh, uh, creating any azure virtual machines we are just uh, creating an app service so uh, we will be billed only for the application uh, that it is running. Uh, just, just let us click on this publish button. It is publishing to Microsoft Azure. This is a serverless approach which is more advantage for us as we don't need to bother about the infrastructure and also it is cost efficient we, we will only pay for the uh, invocation of the application uh, we invoke the application that is the whenever the user invokes the application uh, for that only we will pay it is just showing the status here yeah automatically it has come HTTP Azure app service just one to three right so this is so we have hosted this application here in Azure 
so in this way we can host our mvc or any dotnet core web application to microsoft azure in a serverless approach by creating an app service so as after completion of the lab we will delete deleting is very easy uh, because we have an advantage of that resource group so here uh, we have created the app service under that resource group so if we delete the resource group everything will get deleted what is the resource group we have created as your app service delete yeah so if you observe we have created app service this is the app service uh, and these are the dependent resources which got created by creating this app service so now we will delete this before deleting it will ask for the resource group name so let us just copy this resource group name click on delete resource group just paste it here click on delete so guys in this way uh, we can host our microsoft dotnet core application into microsoft azure using the app services thank you thank you so much